This inhuman hiss fills in the darkness in front of him. What it is, guys? It's Will Blasphemous HD. And if there's anything I can appreciate, it's running away. All right, now I have to say one of the most viable survival instincts we all have is getting the hell out. You guys want to watch the original video? The link in the description down below is by Chills. Make sure to go check him out, subscribe and whatnot. And at the end, uh, I'm going to be telling you guys a real quick story about how I almost got killed. If you guys want to see the animated version, the link will be in the description down below. The story is so crazy, I feel like people won't believe me unless I show the footage. Because I wouldn't believe me unless I showed the footage. Lego. As you watch these YouTubers flee in terror, I encourage you to think how you would have reacted if you were in their situations and what lengths you would go just to spend a few extra moments alive. Number 11. There's this weird guy following me and I don't even know. Shima Lee is sure that she is being followed, so she is taking this video for two reasons. One, she wants to be able to look behind her without seeming suspicious, and two, she wants to identify her attacker on video in case anything happens. You can only see him for a split second here, but a man in a blue shirt is seen walking in her direction. Yep, there he is. Do you see him? Another tense moment passes before she decides to sprint down an alleyway to safety. Shima looks down the alleyway for a long time, fully expecting the man's form to fill up the entrance at any moment. When he doesn't appear, she knows that she is safe and walks away, shaken but luckily she got away safely. Number 10. Exploration Monks and his friend are going to check out a storm tunnel that is rumored to be haunted. No. They have been there no. twice before and each time it creeped them no. out. So now they want to go back once more and videotape it for proof. Uh -uh. The tunnel is covered in graffiti no. and looks to have been discovered many times mm -hmm. before. No. So who knows what terrible events could have happened no. down here what in the, the recent hell? past. They've been filming the area for a while and are just ready to leave when suddenly they hear a voice call out from behind. I can't understand exactly what he says, so let me know if you can make it out. It sounds like a full grown man shouting at them to get out of his way. I was thinking maybe it could be a person living in the tunnel, but then I realized no one would be living in a dark storm pipe for any length of time because there's no food or light and it probably floods regularly. Since this tunnel is already rumored to be haunted, it makes me wonder if this was a paranormal presence yelling at them, whatever it was. Exploration Monks and his friend get out of there quickly before they have a chance to see it up close. Number 9. This video was taken at a location in doing too much. Rio Tarcoles, Costa Rica, known as the Crocodile Bridge. A photographer named Antonio is busy snapping away shots of the local wildlife, mm -hmm. totally unaware of the particularly submerged threat that's growing dangerously close to striking distance. Hey, amigo, go on. Hey. Hey, it's there, man. Antonio! There's one right there! Yeah. Moments later, the massive beast lunges out of the water and makes a grab for its prey. Oh, no, no, no. Look closely and you'll see that whoever threw a piece of food at the last moment probably saved Antonio's life. This throw seems to be what got Antonio to turn around and get him away in time. Stupid, stupid. Everyone rushes to the top of the embankment where they know it is safe. Meanwhile, the crocodiles hungrily eye them below, always ready for their next meal. See, look at that, trying to be brave. Yeah, no, nah, man, I ain't, you know what I mean? I ain't no pansy, son, I got this, all oh, my arms and legs! Number eight, a YouTuber named Tucker Upper is exploring an abandoned house in Cape May, New mm -hmm. Jersey with a fellow photographer to take some pictures. Mm -hmm. Their initial excitement gradually turns into general unease as they go further into the house and start to get a deep sense of foreboding. The heavy emotional disturbance grows even stronger upon reaching the second floor, where nothing in particular seems out of order, yet at the same time everything feels completely wrong. I can't tell for certain, but let me know if you can hear someone whispering. It almost sounds like a voice saying something like, out of here. I guess this strange noise could just be Tucker Upper or his friend whispering to each other. 
Anyway, soon the two of them come across a final room that sends their dreadful feeling into overdrive. This is like from a movie, dude. Look at this. Just as Tucker's friend makes a snide comment about the stench, the wind suddenly picks up and carries a faint, ghostly moan that sends them running. Tucker Upper and his friend have no doubt that this was a paranormal experience, and I tend to agree. They even think that someone might have been behind them, but I'm not so sure. All I know is that if this video is not fake, then something terrible must have happened in that small plain room to unleash such a foul presence into our world. Number 7. A YouTuber named Dr. Shin no. is positive that something evil and unnatural mm. lives in the nearby no. woods. Something that's been stalking him and growing bolder with each passing day. Finally, he has had enough and stomps into the woods with his camera to find it. Armed with only a studio light on a tripod, Dr. Shame finds nothing but large spiders and gnarled trees at first. Then something gets his attention from behind. A distinct tapping in sets of threes. Okay. concerned now and is ready to stop exploring the forest. Then, as if he really needed any additional confirmation of danger nearby, this inhuman hiss fills in the darkness in front of him. Uh, okay. Dr. Shame goes running out of the forest and back to his property. If this video is real, then I personally have no idea what wild animal would be smart enough to play such advanced mind games. Please, the Velociraptors from Jurassic Park 1? You know I mean, they're using clicks and whistles to trick you into going places and hisses. I don't, I don't do none of that. So I'm inclined to think that this is possibly a humanoid or even paranormal. Number 6. A YouTuber named Raptor Baby Emma is in Needville, Texas, mm -hmm. when they notice an 8-foot alligator is steadily heading straight towards- Why are you walking? Really? You gonna walk? Word. You can hear a small child cry off camera as the giant reptile lumbers closer. They are easily able to backpedal away to safety, but I'd like to know more about what is going on here. From what I understand, an alligator can charge much faster than this one, so I'm curious as to why it's moving so slowly. Perhaps the alligator is defending its territory and has offspring nearby. Number 5. A YouTube channel called Advanced Suburbia is checking out a long sewer tunnel that looks like it still might be active. If the pipe floods at any point during his underground journey, then he is a goner for sure. He spends a solid 8 minutes going really far down into this cramped, claustrophobic space before something abruptly stops him. Advanced Suburbia claims that he heard a hissing noise at this point, but his squeaking gear distorts the sound too much to clearly tell. Still, I think I can kind of hear what he's talking about. Listen closely to this part and let me know if you hear it too. I think this is real because the noise startles him so bad that he jumps up and smacks his head on top of the pipe. At this point, Advanced Suburbia turns around and double times it out of the narrow sewer tunnel in an awkward running squat before anything has a chance to get him. Number 4. Neil Mamau is going to his girlfriend's apartment when he finds a rabbit intruder waiting for him in the doorway. <coughs> A raccoon charges all the way down the steps and heads straight toward- Bro, you better practice your football, punt. I, I ain't about to take no crap from no oversized cat. Who turns and- I'd've ran too. I don't know why I'm at the- I, I'd've got out of that. Hey, I think there is a good chance that this raccoon might really have rabies like Neil says because it acts highly aggressive. Despite having plenty of other escape options, it goes right for Neil's shoe instead of choosing any other direction. I wasn't able to see any froth around its mouth, a sure sign of rabies, but it's kind of too dark to tell. If you are a wildlife expert, then let me know what this animal is doing, and if you think it's rabid or behaving normally. 
Number three. This YouTuber is wandering around the vast forest of Michigan when he sees something squatting low in the shrubbery not too far ahead. He zooms in on the creature and still isn't able to make out much detail. What the fuck was that? It looks to be short and round, possibly covered in black fur. I thought it might even be a rock or something, but if you look closely, you'll see it take one step forward. It's definitely alive. Listen for the faint crunch of leaves as it moves. The slight movement sends the curious kid running out of the woods for his life. My question is what on earth could this creature be? The only native species I can think of is maybe a baby black bear, but this video doesn't really look like one in my opinion. If you have a valid guess as to what this thing is, then please give me your suggestion. Number 2 This video was taken back in 2004. A group of friends are lost on Clinton Road, a famous haunted roadway in New Jersey. They pull over and start making jokes about the legendary phantom 18-wheeler that would always chase people away late at night. That's when they suddenly see truck lights in the distance. The group is still in a pretty good mood and they think that this could be some kind of joke at first. Soon they realize that the other vehicle is not playing around after all. Within a few minutes, any doubt they had about the phantom truck of Clinton Road being real or not are fully erased. <laughs> After flashing their lights and honking their horn for quite some time, the phantom truck gives up its pursuit as soon as they reached a different road. I guess this truck could have just been some teenagers chasing people around late at night, but I think this very well could be real. Maybe someone can analyze the headlights and tell me if they belong to an 18-wheeler or just an ordinary pickup truck. Australia are hanging out at a house when one of them sees a strange creature in the woods. Armed with a baseball bat and an actual pitchfork, no. the group heads into the forest towards where it was last no. seen. After wandering around for a full 10 mm -hmm. minutes, one of them spots the creature no. peering back at them from way off in the no. distance. He's standing right there. Ain't nobody got a pistol? Get it! No, man, let it go. Look at it. Put the tree down. Oh, it's moving, it's moving. Suddenly, the light vanishes in front of all of them, and the group runs away instead of charging. I just gotta run, man. It's not behind us. Let's go. There's been a lot of debate on what was actually lurking out in the woods that night, and due to the creature's strange figure, I am honestly stumped on an explanation. Well, moral of the story is, don't be brave, people. Do what I do. Scream and run in the opposite direction. But yo, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. It's your boy Blasphemous HD. Twisms.